Have you ever felt a small shock after going down a slide at the park? Or have you seen someone's hair stick to an inflated balloon? Both of those are examples of static electricity. In today's experiment, we are going to create our own static electricity. This is from Lesson 11 of the Weather and Water Science Unit from The Good and the Beautiful. For this experiment, we will need an aluminum pie pan, a thumbtack, a standard pencil with an eraser, a styrofoam plate, some tape, and a ball of wool. Optional items that can be used for this experiment are a metal fork and a light bulb. This experiment works best in a room that can be very dark when the lights are turned off. Ideally a closet or a room with no windows. We'll build the static electricity device in the light and then halfway through the experiment we'll turn off the lights to really see electricity in action. Let's get started. I'm going to take the aluminum pie pan and turn it upside down. Then I'll carefully push the thumbtack down through its center. If you complete this at home, you may want an adult to help you with this step so that you don't poke yourself. Once the tack is through the pan, I'll flip it over. I'll then take the pencil and push the eraser side into the sharp end of the thumbtack. The pencil will be our handle. Next, I'm going to place the styrofoam plate upside down on the table and secure it with a few small pieces of tape. With the plate secured to the table, I'll rub the ball of wool on it quickly in a circular motion, being careful not to press too hard and crack the plate. To complete this step, I'll rub the wool like this for about two minutes. Rubbing the wool on the styrofoam like this gives the plate a negative electrical charge, which is an essential step in creating static electricity. All right, I'm done with that step. Now I'll use the pencil to pick up the pie pan and set it on top of the styrofoam plate. Let's pause for a moment so you can make a hypothesis. Ask yourself, what do I think will happen if I touch the pie pan? Now it's time to test your hypothesis. Are you ready? Okay, I'm going to touch the pie pan with my finger. Wow, I felt a small shock of electricity. If you are completing this at home and are nervous about touching the pan, you can take a metal fork and use it to touch the side of the pie pan instead. You'll still hear the buzz of the electrical discharge. Now I'll use the pencil to pick up the pan. I'll try touching it again. Do you think I'll feel a shock? Yes, I did! Even though the pie pan is no longer touching the styrofoam plate, it carries the negative charge that was transferred to it by contact. Now the fun part. Let's turn off the lights to see electricity in action. Using the pencil handle, I'll place the pie pan back on top of the styrofoam plate. Now I'll touch the pan. Did you see that spark? Let's lift it off again and touch it. There's the spark of electricity again. These steps can be repeated many times. We should be able to continually use the system without needing to recharge it, as long as the pie pan is returned to the styrofoam plate after each shock. If the system does stop producing shocks, which can happen especially when the air is humid, we can easily recharge it by rubbing the styrofoam plate with wool again. Remember to compare your results with your hypothesis. Were you right? Just for fun, let's also try to touch the metal end of a light bulb to the charged pie pan. It should flash for a split second when it touches the charged aluminum pie pan. Did you see that? If you're doing this at home, please make sure to have an adult help you with this part. I hope you enjoyed this shocking experiment.